Hi everyone, I'm going to read you The Ferocious Wild Beast from the author of George and the Dragon um, and the author's name is Chris Wimble. I'm sure you've read it in reception so I'll read it to you now. A bear was strolling in the forest one day when he met a small boy sitting on a tree stump looking by the glum. asked the bear. I'm lost, sniffed the boy, and I'm in terrible trouble. Dear me, why is that? inquired the bear. Because my mum said I must never go into the forest, replied the boy. But I did, and now I'm lost. Oh, don't worry, said the bear with a laugh. I'll soon show you out the way. The forest isn't so bad, you know. It is, declared the boy. My mum says the forest is full of the ferocious wild beasts. Really? said the bear. Is it? What are they like? They're all hairy, replied the boy, and they hide in the shadows and they pounce on you and gobble you up. Do they? Eh? Do they gobble up bears too? asked the bear nervously. Hmm. Of course, replied the boy. They gobble up everything. The bear peered fearfully into the shadows between the trees. Um, I think we'd better go, he said. They had not gone far when they met an elephant having a snack. Anyone for a banana, asked the elephant. Oh, you'd better watch out, elephant, advised the bear. This young man tells me there are ferocious wild beasts in the loose. Oh dear, said the elephant, dropping his banana. Are they very wild? The wildest beast ever, said the boy. They're so big, they could step on you and squish you just like that. Um, but uh, they couldn't squish an elephant, could they? Asked the elephant. Easily, replied the boy. Oh, crumbs, I got the elephant. You don't mind if I tag along with you, do you? And soon all three were creeping through the forest. Before long, they met a lion sunbathing on a rock. Sit down and enjoy the sun, said the lion with the flick of his tail. Uh, not likely, replied the bear. Don't you know there are ferocious wild beasts about? Are there? Gulped the lion. How ferocious. The most ferocious type of all, declared the boy, and they have sharp claws and big teeth and can bite your head off in a second. <gasps> Yikes, yelped the lion, but they couldn't do that to a lion, could they? Um, I think they like eating lions the best, replied the boy. Oh, help, whimpered the lion, his mane all standing on the end. You wouldn't mind if I came along with you, would you? So off they went, tiptoeing through the forest, and as soon as they met a crocodile and a wolf and a python. Now the sun was sinking. The night time is when the ferocious wild beasts come out to hunt, said the boy. Just then they heard a sound, like the sound of a terrible beast, stomping through the underground. Then they saw a light flickering through the tree trunks like a great glowing eye. And then they heard a wild roar echoing through the forest. And then they all ran for their lives. Well, except for the small boy who was the bravest. He crept forward and saw that it wasn't ferocious wild beasts at all. It was something much worse. It was a ferocious wild mum. Jack, Jack, she roared. Where are you, you naughty boy? There you are, she sighed. Didn't I tell you, you never go into the forest. Didn't I tell you about all the ferocious wild beasts? But mum, Jack protested, I didn't see any ferocious wild beasts. The end.